Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada and this home for sale behind me here in 89141. We're in a gated community in Southern Highlands of Las Vegas, about 25 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip, about 20 minutes from Henderson, the other direction. And we're on this large corner lot, 10,454 square feet on this lot, 4,391 square feet in the home, five bedroom, four bath, completely remodeled by the owner to live in recently. So I always say it's better when they remodel it to live in than remodel it just to sell. And you're gonna see that inside. Great finishes, great choices, and just a beautiful home all around. So we're gonna to tour it top to bottom, check out that sparkling pool, and find out if it's the right home for you today. Follow me. All right, here we are. Corner lot, 10,454 square foot lot. 5736 Heather Breeze Court, listed for 1.1499 million dollars. Built in 2003, only $262 a square foot. About 25 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip, about 20 minutes from Henderson here. And we're just taking a look at this corner lot, the driveway, the front yard. We do have a pool and it's been remodeled. You could fit about eight cars in this large driveway here. The landscaping is a desert landscaping for the most part. Very clean, fairly low water usage. Let's take a look down the side real quick here. So we have three air conditioning units. The two smaller ones, one's gonna be for the primary bedroom, one's gonna be for the other three bedrooms upstairs, and then one's gonna be for, the large one's gonna be for downstairs. So you have three separate thermostats. There's a good look at that stonework that we're gonna see on the front of the house. I love these large lights by the garage. They're about three times the size of a typical house light. And just little details here in the home. I love the stonework, Spanish tile roof, the three garages are attached to each other and the inside of the home. Sometimes we see this toy garage where you can only access it through a door or a separate door outside, but they are all connected. Low voltage lighting, a little bit of that stonework underneath the windowsill there. I'm just surprised for this price, it's still on the market. Wait till you see inside. There's so many things inside they're just beautiful beautiful finishes new sinks new flooring new hardware new carpet i mean everything's been redone beautiful lighting so yeah there's a great look at all the stonework so if you like kind of the castle feel you get a little bit of that that here when you're looking at the home i, I love this entrance very nice and then we have just a gate going down the right side of the home here little flagstone path and yeah that that stonework very cool high entryway we do have a little covered patio where i'm standing here all right very tall door and we'll go ahead and head inside All right, so walking in, here we are. Huge open floor plan. We have 20 foot ceilings throughout this entrance. You're gonna see a lot of great lighting in this home and then beautiful staircase goes up and wraps around to that top floor. The walls are white. The five inch modern baseboards are gonna be a little bit of an off white to tan color. And then we have this beautiful wood look, luxury vinyl plank. And the angle's really interesting on this plank. So the front door's here, and so we're basically angled. So when you look here, you'll see it kind of at a 45 degree angle. But as you work into the main room there, it ends up being perfectly straight. And as you walk into the main room here, also perfectly straight. So that's a great angle there. I don't know how they worked that out. That must have been some math or extreme luck. Maybe the house was designed that way. But yeah, very cool on the floors there. 
So if you didn't know when you install this luxury vinyl plank, it matters what direction you're facing. So you traditionally want it to go away from you and not be perpendicular to you. So in this home, if you kind of went away from the door in a, you know, in a straight line parallel, then when you hit to the main room there, it's gonna be an odd angle for that whole room. So this just worked out beautifully with the way the angles are in the flooring. So yeah, and then you wrap around here. So that's gonna be the family room. We'll be there in just a moment, but let's start in this downstairs bedroom. So there's one bedroom downstairs and it's fairly large. It's gonna be 12 by 15 here. See a little bit of that angle from the front door. The curtains are gonna stay with the home. Brand new LED light. And yeah, the whole, home, the whole home has been painted recently. But painted to live in, upgraded to live in. And that's what we love to see. These mirrored doors here. And the interior doors are, are gonna be very tall. Then we have a guest bath, full bath here, so it's going to double as both. So your guests will be using this bath, a very modern upgraded sink, countertop. Looks like the original cabinets were refinished and were painted and added the gold hardware. Upgraded newer toilet and then the mirror and the light are going to be new as well. New shower. Beautiful tile work, small little soapbox with the gold trim. We're going to see a lot of gold trim in this house. I told you it's coming back in style. Gold shower rack and seashell pattern with straight tile there. Very cool. Look at that pattern. Can you see that? And gold hander, handle and shower head. And we have a closet behind me as well. So we just came off the front door to the left and then there's also your coat closet here. All right, so we're gonna go straight upstairs from there. Again, this carpet's basically new. It looks to be very new. But again, they, they did all this work and they lived here. Doesn't seem for very long, but they definitely lived here after the work was done, which is always a great sign. Then you can see from up here, you just have great view over the whole main area, that fireplace down there, and just a little landing at the top, kind of separate the rooms. We have the primary here and then three bedrooms this way gonna be one of those three thermostats there, upgraded. And a little extra space here, I'm not sure. You could definitely do like a reading chair, maybe a small desk if you needed that space. But again, the home is 4,391 square feet, so. And the ceilings upstairs are 10 foot ceilings, which is great. You don't typically see that in a two story home. This is the second bedroom, 12 by 14. And those very tall ceilings just give you the feeling of so much extra space. Mirrored doors there and two windows in this bedroom. It is wired for, for ceiling fan, but they've replaced it with these LED lights and recessed lighting. So bedroom number three 12 by 14, a much bigger bedroom here than the one next door. This is the 13 by 15, I believe. They label the bedrooms. It's hard to tell which one they call one, two, three, or four. So I kind of have to look at the numbers and then, you know, put them to the rooms. But this is definitely the 13 by 15. This is a large bedroom. Again, that LED light, even though it is Wired for a ceiling fan. You could definitely do that if you like. And this is an ensuite, so it has its own bathroom. This is all basically the same as the bathroom we just saw downstairs. 
with the light, the mirror, faucet, sink, and the same toilet. And gold shower, and I don't know if that's the gold trim on this. I don't know if that's original. It looks very, very clean and good condition, but the whole shower does. So this may be the original shower here, and they just changed out the shower head is what I'm thinking based on that piece right there and just the overall enclosure. So yeah, they may have upgraded this door. It might be original because the handle on the shower is original and it does have a little gold tip on it. So, but very clean. And this room also has a walk-in closet, which is great. And then the ceiling is so tall. I mean, look how tall the ceiling is. And a little light in there as well. So yeah, massive bedroom. Ensuite, walk in closet, and then a front facing window here. Great pad on the carpet. The house smells very neutral. I don't detect any smells really at all. And then we have a little linen closet here. So this is interesting. So there's a door here and a full bath here. So essentially this could be, and again, this bathroom looks identical to the ones we've seen. This one does have the medicine cabinet in gold as well. Everything else looks to be exactly the same, same toilet. And then yeah, extra wide tub with that same tile. See, so yeah, I think this is original to the home as well. But again, great condition. Gold hardware. So then, yeah, with this door here, basically it could serve as an ensuite or it's, you know, the second bathroom for this door for this bedroom doesn't have a full bath up here. So kind of, uh, you know, whichever way you want to go, you could use this as the ensuite. Tell me what you think that is. Does that count? I mean, technically it's not inside of the bedroom. And another very large room. Fourteen by fourteen in here. And a big walk in closet as well. So we do have a large window looking out to the left, and then these two arch windows looking out front. And the walk in closet here. Very large walk-in closet, plenty of shelving. Should you look from this side. But yeah, little indications that people lived here, the curtains. There's a few items left in the house. So it would appear that they're long gone and they took what they wanted. And it's a big job moving out of 4,381 square feet. Listed for 1.149. And that brings us to, oh, look at this light. So yeah, they matched all the lighting in the home that they switched out. So two large double door entry into this primary bedroom. And this primary bedroom is absolutely massive. 26 by 36. So this is gonna be well, you tell me what you think this is, because we have two sections to this bedroom. So this has, you know, this countertop and shelving cabinets there. And then the large bay window, just a huge open space here. Curtains on the bay window, and we do have a balcony going outside as well. And I'll show you the other half of the bedroom in a moment. Little peek of that pool. But yeah, very large balcony. A lot of sky here, you're taller than these homes behind you. Remember, it's a 10,454 square foot lot, so the lot itself is massive. So we'll be down there in a little bit as well. 
a lot to explore here. So yeah, this is the first half of the primary bedroom. The bathroom's gonna be to the left, but then looky here, all right. So we have a whole nother room. So initially I thought maybe that was the living side and this was more of a den, but this to me is the bedside. This is where you're gonna put your bed, you have the fireplace, the TV. Now you can absolutely set this up like a family room, put a couch in here, some chairs, the TV room. But to me, I think this is the bedside. What would you do if this was your home? Let me know in the comments below. Is this the bedside or the family room side? So let's say this was the family room. Let's look at the other side for a bed and see where that would go. Because that's where I kind of... Yeah, kind of awkward shape for the bed in here. Because if you had the bed on this wall... Yeah, let me know what you think. I think this is more of the family room side. But again, you could do whatever you want. Massive, massive room. Get another quick look over here. That fireplace, electric fireplace, changes color. We have recessed lighting and then a big propeller fan up there, wood. Now we do have a coaxial here too, so yeah, a lot of options. And this wood throughout most of the home, there are some carpeted areas. So yeah, headed back to the primary, we have two walk-in closets on each side. This is done professionally, tons of shoe racks there, which is great to see. Shelving, place to hang your clothes on the top and the bottom. Beautiful wood they used on this. Very, very nice with the mirrored doors. And then we cross over and we have the same situation. This one's a bit bigger than the one over there. This is gonna be your smart panel where you hook it Basically, you're going to have your modem in there, and then you're going to run the Cat 6 throughout the whole home through there, so you can just plug into walls. And yeah, just very, very large and ready to go for you. Tons of shoe racks here as well. And if you like my tours, like my content, please take a moment and just hit that thumbs up. Let's YouTube know that you like my video and they'll, they'll let me keep posting. So I appreciate that. And I really like that you like it. Thank you. After all, I do this for you. So we see the same type of materials over here as we saw in the other bathrooms, just a little bit of a different setup. So we have two sinks, one on each side. Uh, it's gonna be the same sink, same faucet, same type of mirror, obviously a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger on the lighting, same countertops, and those gold handles with the vanity there. And yeah, same thing over here, kind of a mirror of that over there, minus the area to sit. And just really nicely done. And again, I can't emphasize enough what the difference is when someone renovates the home to live there versus renovates to sell. You see little differences all over the place. Little linen closet there. So yeah, very big bathroom and then the 10 foot ceilings just make it feel so much bigger as well. We have a water closet back here. That upgraded toilet. Gold toilet paper holder, we like to see that. And then they've left this rack and this chair. I'm sure those are gonna stay with the home. I don't know why they would just come back and get those unless they staged with that. But again, we would wanna find out for sure if you're really concerned if these are gonna be here or not. We'll make sure we get clarity. And then this shower's been redone as well. So it is a walk-in shower. We have about a four and a half inch threshold and a double shower here. Beautiful blue tile work with the gold. And it is large. Couple windows looking out. Don't worry about privacy because you're just seeing the neighbor's roof there and then just some sky. There you are. And so let me show you something here interesting. So this is what pool solar looks like, or at least the old style. And basically what this does is it runs the water 
up through there and heats it through these panels. So it basically runs all the water. It's like the opposite of a radiator. So it heats it all up through there, runs the water up, runs through all of those, heats it, and then comes back down. So that's how solar heats your pool, if you're interested. And if you like these tours and you don't want to miss them, I put them out every single day for you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss these daily tours. I'm trying to mix it up, give you a lot of, a lot of different homes to look at, a lot of different types of homes, and this one's definitely unique. So look at this. That's going to be the main chandelier walking in the house. Very cool. And one thing you can do with these, so we do see some light bulbs out. Um, you could probably reach from here, maybe pull it over and switch the light bulb. So that is tricky. You need a very large ladder to switch these light bulbs. So what you can actually do is they sell a winch that you put in the attic above the light. And it basically will lower and raise the light so you can clean it and change light bulbs. So we see that on the newer high-end homes and you can retrofit fairly easily. I mean, it's a simple concept. You just need electric. It tightens it, pulls it up, and lets it down. Just a little homeowner tip for you. And then you can see all these gigantic windows here on this two-story living room. Just some extra architecture as well. Crown molding up there. Been painted the same as the floor molding. And that's attention to detail. I think it'd be easy just to paint those white. No one would notice but they went all the way on this home. And then this beautiful fireplace living room here. I left these curtains closed so we didn't get blasted with light. But yeah, you have great front facing windows as well. And this isn't a huge space, but it's just meant to be a little sitting area. Put a tiny couch here, a couple chairs. It's not your main living area, and there's so many other places to have that. So this is, you know, just an extra little space. And then, of course, this fireplace. I turned this one on when I got here. I wanted to show you how the colors change. So you can change the color of the flame. We got blue and red, orange, blue and orange. That's orange again. So yeah, you can change the flame color so you can make it look like fire and then you can change the rock color as well without changing the flame. So you can mix it up. You can do blue and blue, purple and blue, whatever you like. So very versatile, very cool fireplaces. Um, the reason they add these, typically you'll see these in the remodels where maybe there wasn't a fireplace. Gas is expensive and hard to deal with. You have the chimney. You can throw this anywhere. anywhere. So for example, they probably just added this on. You just build a little frame for it, stick it in there. You have some power. Now you have heat and just the beauty of it. And when the lights are out at night, it's just, it's breathtaking. They make these a hundred inch wide. So you have some very large ones. That one's a four foot wide there on that one. Archway going into this massive dining room here. Plenty of room in the dining room for a giant table your formal dining, all those chairs. We also have a kitchen nook that we're gonna see in a moment, but yeah. Very, very large dining room. Beautiful light matching all the other lighting in the home. We have clear bulbs here instead of the frosted that we've seen. And then two doors headed out back with the glass panels. And this is good to see as well. I love these over sliders. So that's a very nice touch. And we'll go out back in a moment. One other thing I wanted to show you. We have a little mouse hole going into the closet under the stairs. Now this is about three feet tall and about a foot and a half wide. So very large dog could go in there. I don't know what they had in there, but it's just an interesting um, feature I wanted to point out. We'll go around here to the actual closet so I can show you the other side. 
So this is going to be the door into that closet. And yeah, there you go. So you could set up a pretty cool doghouse in here. Or maybe it was a play area for the kids. There's no vent. So, you know, it's, it's, it's really just for storage. But it is a cool little touch. Let me know what you think of that. And we'll bring this around into this family room. So the kitchen's going to be off to the right. We're over there in the dining room. We have this cut out of the wall here. And then this is going to be kind of your family room, TV room, part of the great room here. And you have options. Looks like the TV is definitely going to be on that wall with the coaxial, the way it's set up. You could do it here if that's what you want. I mean, this is a huge wall also. We have the gas fireplace, actual traditional gas fireplace. Same ceiling fan we saw in the primary bedroom. We have recessed lighting. And then these large windows looking out back. And then, yeah, the wood, the wood look floor is just perpendicular to the way we're standing. Well, somehow it all ended up straight. We have an area over the fireplace, but not for the TV. I don't see any mounting or indication that that should be for the TV. That's going to be here. You have plugs, you have your coaxial, and this beautiful countertop here with brand new cabinets. I don't think these are new cabinets. I think they just took all of the paint off the old cabinets, and that's just the natural wood, but it looks great. So you could stain that any color, just leave it the natural wood, but it appears to be the same cabinets. And I'll show you in the kitchen what I'm talking about. Again, only 1.149, 262 a square foot for this location and this neighborhood gated and then all this house. I mean, you're 4,391 square feet, just gigantic. Uh, the window coverings are gonna stay. Typically, when you see window coverings like this, they're specific to the windows. So there's really no reason for the owner to take them. And then you can keep them or you can switch them out. The rods are already there, which match. And that's kind of the hardest part of curtains is getting the rods up there sturdy. So yeah, you have the option. And the curtains are very neutral. So yeah, that's going to be your massive family room. And then we do have this, the remote for the control here. A lot of light switches. A lot of the lights in the home are on the individual switches, so we do see quite a few of those. That's going to be your third thermostat there. I didn't point out the one in the primary, but there was one in there. If you rewind back, you'll see it. So we have a large door here going into more storage. So there's no shortage of storage, of storage and as there shouldn't be in this size of a home. And then the laundry room. So you're going to love this laundry room, dedicated laundry room and just tons of space in here. We have the gas dryer hookup under here and it looks like you could maybe do dual gas dryers because I see two sets of vents and then your washer is going to go here. So there is no sink, but there is plumbing. So you could possibly retrofit for a sink if you really needed it. However, they've done all of the cabinets countertops. It's beautiful. And then we have a place to hang clothes here as well. And those fold in or come out and you could hang clothes and you could add more of those or you could definitely add a rack as well if you wanted. Big fluorescent light. So what do you think of this fam uh, the family room? What do you think of this laundry room? Again, these very, very tall ceilings. Closet here as well for more storage. Linens, whatever you need. And that brings us to the three car garage. And this garage, just like the rest of the home, is huge. There we are. So yeah, very quiet garage door. Ceilings are a little taller in here than we saw in the rest of the home. 
And we have a Tesla charger professionally installed. That's always great to see. So if you have an electric car, I had an electric Audi and I just need a little adapter and it worked with the Tesla. So I could charge my Audi from home. And then, you know, the Tesla charger as well. Water heater. This size home is a great candidate for an, a tankless water heater because of the fact that you never run out of hot water with the tankless. Being five bedroom, if all the, sh you know, well, four bathroom, if all the showers were on, um, you may go through all of the hot water. And then this is the third car garage, and this is very large. This is much bigger than just a single car garage. It's extra wide, extra tall, and extra long. You can see the water softener loop there. Garage door opener here as well. Large window looking out the front and the side of the home here behind me. And we have a rhino head. That's pretty cool, you don't see that every day. All right, so that's gonna be your three car garage. What a beautiful day outside. The garage door is insulated as well. Listen to how quiet that is. It's a very quiet garage door. All right. Straight ahead from the garage when we come in, we have the kitchen nook. Nice bay window overlooking the pool. Large glass door heading out. No sliders in this home, which I love to see. And a beautiful choice in lighting. We'll be out to that pool in just a moment. I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas, your local realtor here in Nevada, Las Vegas, Henderson, Summerlin. Give me a call if you have any questions, have any real estate needs. I would love to talk. So the light in the pantry is, is just, it's a light bulb issue. Um, we could switch that out real quickly, but it is a very large pantry here. Plenty of shelving, and you could redo this however you like or just leave it the way it is. Uh, I wish it was a little brighter, but that light bulb is just on its last leg there. You could easily swap that out, have a nice bright pantry. And then here's the kitchen. Waterfall island, quartz, very, very pretty. These wood, uh, natural wood look open shelves on either side of the microwave. And the reason I say that is because I thought this was a microwave. <laughs> two microwaves in this home and two ovens. So when one microwave is not enough, you have a Samsung Dual there with a microwave and the oven and then you have a Samsung microwave here that's very new and then three ovens what is going on down here oh just two ovens so they have separate so this is a dual oven so you can have separate temperatures in the bottom and top even though it's a single oven so that's a huge upgrade as well I hope I just didn't turn that on there's buttons on the back of the handle so let me see if, okay there turn that off Five range burner. So these are very upgraded. Let me tell you something real quick about home warranty. So after 12 years, my microwave oven combo died. I ordered the warranty. I wanted the GE profile, which is the same as what I had. And they spent weeks trying to send me a GE non-profile, which was essentially a microwave and an oven. The GE profile was a microwave convection oven and an oven. And basically what I had to do is I just had to keep calling and keep you know, pushing them to order the other one for me. Now home warranty, it's a great thing. It's usually real simple and easy, but again, it's a business trying to make money like everybody else. So I will tell you, if you push back, you can get things done. Now, all the home warranty companies aren't the same, but they basically operate the same. But yeah, I told them I want a GE profile to replace my GE profile. 
and I wasn't going to have it any other way. Well, it took me about an extra month and a half. They had to order it, but lo and behold, they installed it. And now I have three ovens because I have a microwave oven, convection oven, my regular oven, and then another oven, which would have been the second oven. So I just said oven a lot of times in a minute and we'll move on. So here's what I was talking about. These are the same cabinets down here and up here. Same cabinets, same age. These have been repainted in white with the gold handles. And these basically, they just took all of the finish off. And now you just have a natural wood. So again, you can stain those. You can leave them the same. We have two dishwashers here. One on each side. Oh my gosh. Two microwaves, two dishwashers. We are appliance crazy here. And then this gold basin sink, double basin. I haven't seen a gold sink on one of these tours. This is a first. Let me know what you think about that with all the gold hardware and then a gold water filtration system. Wow. Oh, and then we have a glass washer. Yes, look at that. You've seen that at the bar. Well, now you could have one at home. That's the glass washer. I wish I brought a glass. I would test it out. Very, very cool. We have Waterfall Island with the waterfall countertops as well. So what do you think of this kitchen? It's large, it's open. The island is full of storage and very large. We have our obligatory 2003 uh, family computer station there, which I like to call the coffee station or bar, and then a Samsung refrigerator. So yeah, all of these Appliances are newer, not new, but again, they were bought to live in. Ooh, this one has a built-in filter. Wow, okay. And then your double freezer down here. And then we have another little station here for whatever else you need. So yeah, very versatile, a lot going on in here. Okay, I think that's enough of the inside of the house. Thanks for sticking with me. Let's go take a look at this pool. I will go out these doors because they're already open. Back to the dining room and out to this pool. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and leave me a like. I really appreciate it. Helps me out so much. All right, we have covered patio here, very large table, chairs, eat lunch out here with no um, sun blaring down on you. We have just a very clean, cement path out to that gate to the front of the home and then yeah here's where the rest of the 10,454 square feet is we have a lot of oleander here which basically just provides privacy it's a very soft wood easy to cut but will grow fairly tall if you let it it's easy to keep trimmed but you can let it go and just uh, give you all that privacy And then the perfect size pool. You have some steps going down. It gets deeper on this end. We have a three dolphin design in the middle with a lizard over here. Very inviting, very refreshing. We have some synthetic turf back here to the right. If you have a pet and they need to use their, do their business, that's gonna be the area for that. And then yeah, the back of this home. Awesome, 1.4. Nine, nine. Thanks so much, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Appreciate it.